everyone! Welcome to the Jaded and Stitches Show, and thanks for dropping by the craft room. We find ourselves in the middle of the hot summer, so I thought it might be fun for everyone to answer a question. And since it's a question, I'm also going to tag Cinnamon Stitches in this little video. I want to know, what's the oldest ball of yarn in your stash? I'll go first. I have several of these balls of yarn, still in their original little plastic sheath, I might add, that were gifted to me from a friend that I worked with. They are Lady Fair Sayel Baby Yarn. It's three ply. It was sold originally by the Eaton's Company. And this particular ball and its siblings are all this pretty little blue color. They're from the late 50s, early 60s. That's about what I can gather. Also knowing the age of the woman that they came from, they were her mothers and she never got around to using them. So late 50s, early 60s, plus check out that packaging. And I'm happy to say I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven balls of this. I would call this a size one fingering weight or lace weight yarn. That is some skinny, skinny stuff. It's super soft. Sayel is a kind of acrylic. Apparently they had some fun names for acrylic back in the day when it was still kind of a, a new fiber they were experimenting with. Um, and this is the baby stuff. It is 100% acrylic. It is super, super soft. It's machine washable. And I just love that old fashioned picture. Lady Fair had a knitting magazine um, and I've seen early events, early editions of it from the 1920s. So it's a pretty old name insofar as knitting and crochet is concerned. Anyway, that's the oldest ball in my collection. What's the oldest ball in your collection? Let us know in the comments down below, or if you're going to make a video, tag us at Jade and Stitches, because I want to know. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great week, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, everybody. Miss Stern Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.